In this second example, we will demonstrate axial chromatic aberration using an Edmund Optics planar convex singlet. In our discussion of aberrations, you have learned that chromatic aberration is essentially the fact that lights of different wavelengths focus at different points on the optical axis. And the shorter the wavelength of the light, the more refraction it will encounter and will focus closer to the lens compared to longer wavelength rays. We have set up the aperture type as float by stop size here. We are using just one field. And to demonstrate chromatic aberration, we are using three different wavelengths of light, 420, 550, and 700 nanometers. In the layout settings, we are choosing all wavelengths here, and we color the rays by their wavelengths. Now, uh, let's zoom in here. The parallel rays that strike the lens surface uh, refract and gets focused. And if we notice here, we can see the three rays uh, that represents th three different wavelengths have different on-axis focus. The violet ray focuses first, which has the shortest wavelength, then the green one, then the red one. If you want to correct for chromatic aberration, uh, you may choose an achromatic doublet. We have discussed this in our previous slides. Keep in mind that achromatic doublets come with a steep price tag, so if cost becomes significant, you may choose monochromatic illumination, where chromatic aberration will not be an issue.